Hey guys, welcome to this video. It's a uh, low C rock ray front diff teardown. Right now it has the stock one inside. As you can see, I'm gonna rotate one tire and the other one off goes the opposite way. So we're gonna fix that with this locker. Don't mind the mess. Here we go. I'm gonna start off by taking about 12 screws for the body and then again take off one screw for the top shock then two screw right there and then you're able to get to this bracket right here which it has a screw inside and then another one on the bottom one and then another one you're able to squeeze this together and the whole body plus chassis comes out and if you haven't seen the video for the teardown on the steering rack for this, go check it out. I actually show, me and my buddy Francisco, we show, show you guys how to take off every single screw for taking off the whole chassis so you can basically uncover all the goodies on, on this uh, bad boy. Just took off all the screws for the body. About to take off the two shock ones. All right, so as you can see, we got both screws off. Now what you gotta do is compress this one, or both, well of course, but I got the camera with one hand. One is out, second one is out. Now what you wanna do is, yep, the screw that's right there, let me turn on my flash. Well unfortunately my flash does not wanna work, Actually, I got a flashlight. So you can see right there, that's that one. It's one, there's another one. So yeah, there's four total to take that bracket off. Take off the tires if uh, if it's easier for you guys, which it, uh, it will be for me. All right, so now separate, pull this bracket out, compresses. Comes out. Let me unhook my fan. Actually, it's the that's the light bar. It's on the ball already that I hooked up a fan and it comes up with the whole body. Show that in another video next time. Cool. In order to get to this diff, we're gonna have to remove top right here this bracket from bumper um, I'll be right back all right so so far I've taken off those screws which are four plus two those two top ones those two of them is from right here goes on top of the differential and then those four other ones from here you're gonna want to take off this one and that one so you can flex this chassis up and it can come out so I went ahead and removed that screw and this screw so I can be able to move this and take it apart which here it is and then you're gonna wanna grab this bracket and pull it out. Cause that's holding on to the control arms and also the diff. So I went ahead and got a flathead screwdriver and was easy able to pull it out. Before I take that off, I'm gonna take off the axle, which will be if the camera focuses. It'll be right there, that screw right there. Let me zoom out. I'll just show you. That one right there, that screw, that pops out. This one as well, that pops out. All right, so I got the screw out, the little persuasion. You're able to pop that out. 
Well, I got the differential out. It's having a little problem with this side. This screw is completely out, but it didn't want to get out of the damn hole. So I'll just leave it there for now. See what's going to happen. Um, we're going to take off one, two. Then on the other side, you got... Mm, yeah. On both sides, we got screws. There's only two screws to tear it down. And then also those two screws right there. Alright guys, so got the screws out. Those two for the bracket actually was on this side. Then one and two. Alright. Green somewhere. Got to get to the inside now of this bad boy in order to swap out for that. Be right back. All right, so I got the other axle out, which was the right side. This pops out. Now we got to take off those four screws in order to get to the inside of the differential and lock it. All right, guys. Just got those four screws off. Moment of truth. As we can see, pinion gears in there. So what we're gonna have to do is take that sucker out, slide this one in. All right, guys. So uh, I already popped this uh, gear in there, but I'm gonna show you what I did. Before you pop it in there. Just wanted to see how it fit. Give me a second. All right. So take everything out. I know it's a little dirty here, but I want to put it back together. It'll be nice and clean. You need your axle, your main axle, basically from the differential. So you need to take off that gear. Once you take that gear off, you're able to put this right in its place. Just like so, just like that. Then you're able to slide this one back in place. It stays nice and flush in there. And then you want to grab your other side. Take this bad boy off. You don't need that one no more. And then, voila, put it back together fully locked I cannot spin opposite ways this is gonna be awesome for the low C rock ray all right I'm gonna put it back together now yeah but before that I'm gonna clean it up all right guys back together that's just gonna spin one way all right guys when I took this apart there was a washer but it seemed like it was one washer there's two so make sure you have two for that. Of course, one goes over there. All right guys, so uh, just got it back together. I put uh, plenty of oil in there. So uh, it's time to put it back together. All right guys. One, two screws on. Time to put this bracket back on, like so. All right, guys, uh, back together. It's leaking a little bit, of course. I got, uh, I got it pretty lubed up in there. If you want some lubrication instead of no lubrication in there. Back together she goes. All right guys, so uh, from now on, I'm just gonna put it back together. That's the end of the video. Self-explanatory on to put it back together. Just uh, follow the steps. Yeah, you guys have a good day.